All right, so El Padra, Padra, Pedra Water, it's ready. You can use items, some settings, mission objectives, everything. Let's start dispatching units. And we're going to use all of our units. All right, I'm pausing the game because I want everybody to move at once. So let's set our main character's unit out and about. Dispatch Sophia. Now I'm going to have Sophia go straight for the neutral house. Dispatch Dio. Most of our units are going to be heading down there, but I want Dio specifically to go through the forest. And he's going to go... Uh, okay, he's going to go with Kojiro. Now, if I didn't put those soldiers in Kojiro's unit, he would have had a special movement type, Mountain. I'm going to put you over here. What that would mean is he would have a special bonus going across mountains. Or, I should say, he would negate the penalty of it. Notice how Dio and Vega are going slowly through the forest? That's because you get a penalty, movement penalty, when going through the forest. You move the fastest when you're on the road. Almost everybody does. Alright, so what I'm going to do is have them both head for this stronghold. I didn't click it before because I just wanted to demonstrate what happens when you go through the forest. Anytime you are moving the map, by the way, it stops time. So if you want things to actually progress, you have to wait. So you can see that there's a team here. If I click on it, I can see their team. Duke the Wizard. I don't get to see what his skills or stats are yet because I haven't encountered him. But he's the, uh, also there with Baron the Knight and Persephone the Hellhound. So that's team. That's what I'm going to be fighting if I go over there. Combat in this game is pretty interesting, but also somewhat hands-off. Knowing the ins and outs of how to prepare for the fight is far more important. Oh, Kojiro seems to have found something. Wait, there's something here. Old clothing was found. Kinda useless. Alright. Alright, so once they re uh, reach a point, the characters will mention it to you. Now, what you want to do when you hit one of these strongholds, go to Stronghold Commands. You enter it, get information about it, go visit the Witch's Den, which you use to revive players. You can exchange characters if there are other people there, or exchange items if they're, if they're there too. So let's enter the stronghold. It's important to do this everywhere. There are some exceptions as to who you want to do it with. The, there are rebels in the south protesting their aristocracy. The leader of this movement is something like friendly? Nah, that's not it. It's free something. Something like that. You get information not only about the story, but about the map you're on. And sometimes specific events only occur if you visit a stronghold. That's why I'm sending this character over here to a friendly stronghold that we know we already own, because I want them to go inside and check it just in case. Now, if you have a guide, you can obviously tell when uh, that's going to be an issue and when it isn't. See that uh, this team reached the, uh, here faster. That's because their general movement speed is higher. The Southern Division? You're here already? Calm down. It's not that big of a problem. Our plan has already been initiated. We must stop them, or else it will come to naught. Nothing will change. Everything will remain the same. This is for our future. I'll leave this place to you. Buy as much time as possible. Inno enters our team. All right, come on, you dogs. Get, get out of our way. All right, so Hellhound, Beastmaster, and two soldiers versus them. Ready, go. Now we have our strategy set to go specifically for the weakest enemy. And because there's free uh, path all the way to the wizard in the back, that's where we focus. We took our turn, they took theirs. Now anybody with an extra attack gets to go. We managed to eliminate their leader. This is big. Ah, but his Hellhound got a three attacks and all of them on our leader took us down hard, but we won, because we dealt more overall damage than they did. Alright, so because we pushed him back, he we won, it pushes his unit physically back. Without a leader, he no longer can direct commands. There's a way around this if this happens to you, which at some point it probably will. Mulsak, Mulsuk has been liberated. 
All right, so I'm going to be leaving Kojiro here because he's hurt, and while you're in a town, you'll heal up. But I want to also enter the stronghold. The kingdom of Palatinus is divided into four regions. The central region is called Latium, and Winia is its capital. The eastern region is Capitro. Capitrio, the land of Advent. The western region of Wintinus is mostly farmland. This is the southern region of Alma. These people live among nature and hunt for a living. This region is the poorest in all Palatinus, and the monsters just make things worse. You guys are warriors, right? Can you do nothing, something about this? Well, that's what we're here for, dude. So that gave a pretty good summary of the four regions. We'll learn more and more about them as the game goes on. And how they're important. Alright, Vega is now at the target location. Vega, enter the stronghold. This one has a shop. I'm going to check it right after. Hey, how about a drink? I don't understand kids these days. My son's an idiot. He's growing his hair out and raising him a sissy girl. Claims it's some tradition from Indigo. What the hell is that? Is that some kind of protest? Eh. The generation gap. What are you gonna do? Alright, so let's go to the shop. What do we need? Alright, now what? here's a good suggestion whenever you're looking at a shop. Look for any gear that doesn't appear in your inventory already. Like here it says buy, then under that equip all. How All is how many you have in your inventory. Equip is how many you have equipped. As long as you have one, you're fine. But make sure you double check anytime you're in your shop. It is important for unlocking classes in this game. Now I'm going to not buy any of these, because these are all consumable items. These are different. But you do probably want at least one at some point. But now that she's there, I'm going to move her immediately back to the stronghold. You don't need characters usually sitting on a stronghold. You rarely have back attacks. Alright, so that said... I'm going to have Dio charge this unit. See, if I press R, I can choose a different focus. And what happens when you focus on something is the character will go for that and keep going for that, even if the target moves. So Dio is going to chase down this team and try and finish it off entirely. In the meantime, this witch is coming to see us. Speaking of witches, Sophia's found something. Wait, there's something here. Power fruit was found. Alright, so I am leaving Kojiro here, not just to heal, but because there's an enemy headed his way and he needs to defend it. He's healing, he might not be fully healed by the time they get here. That's okay. Dio's gonna chase down the wizard while he's uh, stressed out. Because he has no leader, he's just going to keep running as long as he can, which isn't very long. There is a fatigue system in this game associated with how far you travel, what you travel through, and for how long. Looks like Dio's getting cornered. This is bad. Uh, let's go after Teresa. So, I hesitate to name a genre with this game. I think real-time strategy is the closest I can think of. Alright, we captured that. Let's check it right away. Enter Stronghold. Is it being in the military pretty tough? Joining the army to get the crap beaten out of you in training just to fight bandits? Is it all you'd hope for? It pays. Anyway, I'm going to be leaving her here for a while. As you can see, there's a flag icon near her items. This indicates fatigue. If it gets all the way red, she has to camp and stop for a while. I don't think she'll get to the new town before that happens. Alright, Dio's gonna get sandwiched a bit here, but you can see I wanted to demonstrate something specific from this. We're attacking them from behind. This changes the enemy formation. See, they've swapped. The hound is now in the back. This is important. Alright, so we've done a full turn. It's their turn. They get to attack. They managed to deal quite a bit of damage, but they're going straight for the front, uh, middle of the front lines, who's our strongest unit. In the front, at least. Now, you might notice the little soldiers aren't gaining experience. This is misleading. They are. It's just not in the same way as the other units. I'll explain it at some other point. 
However, Dio is in a bad situation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Huh, orders? Huh, I don't remember that. Anyway, I'm going to face him this way. Because, because he's not in a very good situation. He's uh, If he were to turn his back to the enemy, his formation would be swapped as well. And he'd be in a very bad situation. Even worse, I mean, than being sandwiched between three units. So you can see a little bar is filling up in the top middle of the screen. You'll watch what happens when it reaches the second level. Now I can do what's called interrupt command. I press the A button, and it goes through whatever combat it was going through then, and you get to change stuff. I can change the battle strategy, which is important to do dynamically in a fight often. You can retreat once it gets to two, or you can use the elemental Padra if it gets to three. Pedra. Sorry, I mispronounced that a lot. That's not going to happen for a while. You need to tend to get a lot more units that take up a lot more time to build up the elemental Pedra unit. This time it was considered a draw. I think this pushes both teams back. This can be a good thing for us. Yeah, see, it pushed Dio back. Looks like I found something. The Balder Sword. Now, I didn't do any equipping, and there was some we could do, because we have some spare weapons and armor that's slightly better for some characters. Every character has their own equipment set, you see. So, fight it out. Looks like we're now facing the Witch. Now, witches are not the offensive spellcasters like the wizard we saw earlier. Witches are different. They use status effects. Ray of Paralysis. That's going to prevent Dio from attacking next turn. you also notice one of my soldiers died. He didn't lose all of his hit points. This is normal. Their hit points are split into thirds. Now, you might say, why do they do that? There's two reasons. One, the way XP works... Um, I'm gonna just tell you to stop moving. Alright, and I also want to change your direction. Never mind, he does it automatically. The way they gain experience matters with how many of them are on the field, for one. And two, it affects us how affects how strong their attacks are. Not a big deal seeing as how soldiers are exceedingly weak. <laughs> Unless they get a crit. When you saw that zoom in, that means they got a crit. Fun fact, crits can push units back in their formation. It's only temporary. I think that happened to one of my soldiers earlier. It All it'll do is mess up the rest of their attacks. Like if you're in the front row and you do a specific attack, and you're in the middle row and you do a different type of attack, you'll do the other type of attack and you get pushed back. That's why it's important. Uh-oh, it got pushed straight into our other team. This can happen and that's why you have to be careful when pinballing enemies. All right, so let's see if we can't finish this team off. All right, and that's the end of that team. Completely killed. You only get ex more than one experience point if you manage to kill at least one unit. You do get more experience if you keep killing more in the same uh, turn, though. And he ran straight into Teresa. Oop. And a ray of paralysis. Well, that's okay because those units aren't very useful. Now, you might be asking, well, how do you target the spells? And the fact of the matter is, they follow most of the same rules as the melee. I'm going to get into more detail as to how it works. Oh, you saw the alignment down thing? That's something I'll explain later. That's a whole nother headache. <laughs> Believe me. In fact, when I mentioned the glitches and stuff that you can use in this game, Probably the main reason I ever consider using glitches is the alignment system. I'm going to have Dio camp because she's not going to come after Dio. She's going for a stronghold. Bordeaux has been liberated, so I'm going to have my main character headed. She's going for a stronghold because she needs to heal, and the closest stronghold is mine. Prince Yumo is visiting Alba right now. That's odd. We, said, we mentioned Yumo earlier, didn't we? There are plenty of royal haters here. I hope he's safe. He's a prince, huh? And that other character in the beginning, that was the main character. Just FYI. 
That was us. I'm now at target location. So she's probably going to stop heading there once the other guy, once our other guy gets there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send Bento after Teresa. Now she's rested there long, more than long enough. So let's get her here. Vega, I'm going to move to this stronghold. Now she'll take the fastest route she thinks she has. But you can force them to go through like the forest and stuff if you want to. You can cue movements, by the way. You can say, go here, then you move it, and then you say, go here next. So that's totally possible. Oh, looks like Bento found something. The Altar of Resurrection. Consumable that revives somebody. All right, Dio's fatigue is gone. So I'm going to see if he can't finish chasing... Oops. The wizard. Now, I could have Dio... Oh, no, no, no. Go here, then after him. See, if I don't give him that command, he's going to go all the way around and probably run straight into the stronghold. Don't want that yet. All right, Bento. Just two health. There's two good reasons why I'm doing this. One, the experience. Two, the alignment. And three, the experience for the uh, soldiers. You see, they gain experience based on how many wins you have. So, those soldiers are the weakest units. It just flat out. But, when they level up, they become the basic units of the game. The footmen and the archers, I believe, are the terms for them. They're, I don't remember all the class names, I'm sorry. But the point I'm trying to make are the guys that are under knights and the ones that are under Amazons. So those become the next basic units. Now, how they choose which ones of those to become is based on who, what party they're in. I'm going to have everybody go to that highway, except... I'm sorry, wait. I want Vega. You, I want to start moving this way. Because you and Sophia are going to take that stronghold. Bento, you're fine. You don't need to rest anymore. So let's move you to the highway. Kodro, you as well. Eh, that's fine. You can't get too precise because of the way the joystick works in this game. It's not mouse-driven, that's for sure. Alright, so all that's left is the Hound. Let's see if we can deal enough damage to finish it off. Not with that miss. Oh, two misses. Such a shame. Oh, three misses. This thing can avoid. And you notice the soldiers only attack once. That's because they're weak little soldiers. They're not very good at attacking. Now, there's an invisible experience that we're gaining every time we win a fight. You gain one point for every soldier alive. That doesn't mean every group of soldiers. That means every soldier. Like that fight, we had four soldiers alive. Dio gains four experience. It's hidden. And it's Dio himself that's gaining. Now what happens when Dio reaches 100 of that invisible experience, the soldiers level up. One group of them will become the next level, like a footman. So if you can farm a couple of extra wins, one of these little soldiers will become like that footman in the middle that just attacked. Now specifically, Dio's soldiers will turn into footmen. This is because Dio's a guy. So his units will become male units. That's why we had an item earlier that you might have noticed that allowed us to... Ooh, we got a special item. That's cool. That's because there is a... Uh, there is a consumable item that you can hold on to, and I believe you it'll ask you to use it when a soldier's about to upgrade. Do you want to use this to... Or you can just hold it. I don't remember which one. And you'll be able to swap the gender of the soldier that's being promoted. All right, now that guy will not leave the stronghold. So just have Dio rest. Now you might be asking, he doesn't leave the stronghold. One win from you and you push him off. Who cares? It's going to be a little harder than that. I'm going to show you what the difference is with boss battles once we get there. But I'm going to get all my ducks in a row first. Which means moving everybody a little closer. I'm going to move them onto the highway. 
and I'm going to have them rest up before the fight. I don't believe fatigue affects how well you do in a fight. I don't think it affects your stats. It might. I'm going to look this up for later, just to be sure. But Vega's getting in her first fight with Muller. Another Hellhound Bandit. So the footmen get their hitsies in, and the soldiers get their hitsies in. And one got a crit. Alright, because Vega's in the back and she's a Valkyrie, she has a special lightning attack. Very potent, because we don't have much attack magic, and a lot of enemies don't have a lot of resistance to that kind of thing yet. Alignment went down, but we gained, but we won that fight, so yay us. She has gained six soldier experience. You see how this works. Sophia, hunt him down. Now, the, what affects the alignment is a ton of things, and the alignment does have an appreciable effect on your characters. You'll, I'll explain more later, but it's a big headache, and I might take advantage of one of the glitches to affect that if I feel like power gaming throughout this LP. I don't promise anything, though. Hmm, I sense special power within you. The power must be El Pedra. One of your men wields the El Pedra, no? You seem puzzled by my words. Okay, I'll tell you a story. El Pedra is a powerful crystal. The crystallized powers are wind, flame, earth, water, virtue, and bane. Those who possess the El Pedra are said to wield special power. It appears that you're under divine protection from the El Pedra. You have all six of them? If you don't, you should find them. So you notice that we only could choose four in the beginning. That's because Bane and Valor are later. However, that being said, we can still find the others. Just not yet. Now the reason why I'm chasing him down is because he's going straight for a stronghold, and we're a tad busy. But when an enemy goes for a stronghold and they see another enemy nearby, they say, uh, screw that noise, I'm running away. And Kojiro. Oops. No, I wanted Kojiro. So when you set them up to rest, you might have noticed that when I did that with Dio, he just automatically got up. Your fatigue doesn't go up unless you're moving. So I'm not worried about Dio right now. I'm going to move, start moving Vega to where they're camping out. And while Sophia, I think it is, is going to finish off that group. But he moves a little faster than we do. All right, Muller. Fight it out. Paralyzed. Good. Now he won't attack at all. So we have a huge advantage. But she keeps targeting him. Because the Hellhound is not in her range unless he is the only one on the board. We lost? Well, that's interesting. <laughs> this can happen. Having a utility unit like a witch doesn't always work. It can be a problem. So what I'm going to do is wake up Kojiro and, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Break camp, command, move, and have him also go after Muller. Once uh, Bento has broken a uh, camp, I'll also send him in. So the way this game is, obviously you can tell it's got a lot of time to dedicate to it. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to record like an hour long or just a session of completing a full run at a time and then break them up into parts. Oh, Dio, deal with him. Uh, let's see, Sophia, I'm going to need you to camp. Uh, Kodro, I think it's time we take on the stronghold. Two. 
Vega, I want you to go for the stronghold as well. But after queuing that, I want you to camp. So here's what happens when you fight the enemy stronghold. You will almost always face them head on. It's really hard to flank them. You'll get a special event. You've come this far, but you won't get any further. I will defeat you at all costs. You were controlling the beasts. Why are you doing this? What are you doing? It won't do either of us good if I tell you. What are you going to do? You haven't the slightest idea of what we must endure. You want to know why we do this? Freedom. For freedom. That's it. Nothing else. Now prepare! So it's time to take the main team into action. Fight it out. Interesting, more dramatic music. Now you're going to watch, we're going to deal more damage than his team. That's pretty much guaranteed at this point, because we haven't had many misses. Ugh, took out my soldiers pretty quickly, though. Experience gained, but we lost. It, oh, I'm sorry, we won! <laughs> I didn't realize we dealt enough damage to beat him. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to lose regardless. Even if you kill a member of the team, you lose the fight. Because what happens is you get pushed back, so they don't get pushed back. It's harder to defeat an enemy on their home soil. Now you might ask, does that happen on my garrison? No. <laughs> the game cheats. Now I took that very slow, and I tend to do that in this game. So that's why things are going to be broken up into parts. What are you planning? With a name like Stabilo? I'm guessing stabbing. We gotta head back, Lamar. Sounds like the prince has been attacked. <laughs> Why are you laughing? What's so funny? What? You ask what's so funny? Your foolishness just cracks me up. What do you mean by that? Do I have to explain everything? We were a decoy. Our true goal is revolution. We will destroy the royal family and the nobles and bring changes to this kingdom. We were ordered to get your attention. I didn't expect they dispatch rookies like you, but it's too late. We'll raise the flag of revolution on Prince Yumil's grave. <laughs> well, that's no good. Lamar, wait! Where are you going, huh? Let's go rescue the prince. By ourselves? Are you out of your mind? Where exactly is Prince Yumo? How big is the enemy force? We have no information whatsoever. Boy, this is a role reversal. What are we supposed to do, huh? Besides, how are you going to contact the main regiment? Control yourself, Diomedes. I don't know, I think he's the one that's offering the most, uh important perspective at the moment. It's too late to join the main regiment. From the size of the decoy, the enemy force shouldn't be that large. I guess they dedicated a lot of forces to try and distract us. Since we're closest, we must rescue the prince. The troops trading nearby are also heading this way. Lamar, take command and rescue the prince. We were in the middle of a training exercise. It's not, uh, that far off to think that there are other regiments doing the same. I think it's best that you rescue him. Dio's confused, but we have a little insight from that first introductory, uh, I hesitate to call it cinematic. I'll head for the main regiment and give my report. But first, we should do go to where Prince Yumo was attacked. It's difficult to devise a decent plan in this kind of situation, but I can at least give you some advice. Alright, so that's it for this section. It's kind of hard to do an outro when you don't really know how many outros you should have done in this video. <laughs> but thank you very much for watching, folks. See you in the next session.